y'all welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Melly, and if you're not welcome back to another video and in today's video we're gonna be doing something a little bit different that i've never really done before which is me showing y'all my curly hair routine now i'm gonna try my best to get as much stuff as i can because i've never done this before and i've seen other videos of people you know doing their curly hair routines their wash routines um i've showed y'all my aftercare routine like several times but i've never really showed y'all what i really be doing for my wash i've only showed y'all the products but y'all have never seen me actually do it so i was just like you know why not make a whole video about my curly hair routine and my wash routine and my aftercare routine which i've seen multiple times i feel like i should make like a whole entire video about it because this type of content needs to be like away from like my vlogs and stuff when i go on a public let me you know how long my hair is how did you get it so long and i'm gonna tell y'all all about that in the video so not only is this like a curly hair routine but i'm also just giving y'all a glimpse of like my curly hair journey and what i do and my tips and tricks on how to grow your hair and make it healthy overall so i can't wait for this video and i can't wait to show y'all my whole entire routine from top to bottom so enough talking let's get into this wash routine so now we are downstairs where we're going to be washing my hair i didn't want to do it in a shower i didn't want to just put on clothes and just do all that well i can just me i just feel like i've never gotten like that comfortable in front of a camera so yeah so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna set the water to lukewarm water and then i'm gonna let that you know sit for a little bit and then we're gonna get started on just rinsing my hair with water okay so i feel like this is at the right angle for me to show y'all you know the process if not i'm gonna be so sad i have other products right here on the side so first things first is of course my shampoo which i showed you in the last video i'm gonna be using the keto Canazo shampoo this we're gonna have to do two times next i'm gonna be going in with the castor oil that i showed y'all last video this is just for my hair this is not for my scalp and then after that i'm gonna be going in with the conditioner from mark anthony and then for tools i'm gonna be using this new massager that i got uh, from forever 21 this is a massager for my scalp and then my detangling brush and then my clip without further ado let's get started with this wash routine by the way if you guys see me look over to the side i have like my camera because i can't see the back of this phone so i don't know if like i'm in the center or don't need to move closer you know what i'm saying all right now that my hair is down so i usually part my hair in the middle So after I let my hair down, I'm going to be removing any like clumps that I have in my hair just so that it's, you know, easier to, 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 you know, wash. You know what I'm saying? Just so that it's just easier for me to like detangle and stuff. I do it very, very gently just so that I don't lose my hair. I'm not going to be removing all of it just because of time, but you guys get the idea. <sighs> Got too much, too much hair going on. I'm going to be showing y'all from like a far angle doing my, my scalp work. I'm going to switch the angle so that y'all can see me do it from like a little bit far. Okay, so since my phone died 
I'm gonna be using my other one. So now that I've done, you know, my shampoo, I'm gonna be moving on to conditioning. All right, so for the conditioner, I'm gonna be going in with the Strictly Curls conditioner. And then I just do one. This is the amount of condition I put. Then I just do that. And then I apply a little bit of water. I get my pattern detangler. Then I start detangling. Sometimes I might section my hair into four, but uh, for this one, I'm just gonna do two. The tingling is so annoying. Yo, look at my, look at this hair. So this is what my hair looks like when it's conditioned. Now I'm gonna rinse it. Now what I'm gonna do is scrunch it. Since this side is done, put my hair up. So what I do is I twist and I kind of go up. I'm just gonna do the other side. cute all right so this is what my hair looks like when i'm done washing it so basically what i do with the towel is that i put it over my head and then i just like wrap it around so yeah my hair is wrapped around now i'm gonna go upstairs to do my aftercare routine all right y'all so i just made it upstairs and i just filled my water bottle up that's a water bottle bottle spray now i'm just gonna let my hair down so we are now in the process of aftercare routine so i'm just gonna be drying my hair so that i can put my hair oil of course i showed y'all my hair products in my recent i'm gonna be using the mayo mint oil i'm gonna be putting oil in the middle of my hair and then i literally just learned this from my cousins but i'm gonna be putting my oil like this i realized that i've been putting my oil wrong sorry if anybody was offended um but i'm just getting used to hair oils i'm gonna be putting oil on my ends and then i'm gonna be doing the same thing for this side So now that my hair is oiled, I'm going to be moving on to my next step, which is detangling. I'm going to be using the Aussie Miracle Curls Detangling Milk. And I'm going to be using that to um, detangle my hair again. So the reason why I detangled my hair with um, my conditioner for my wash routine is just so that it's more easier to detangle my hair. Just so that I could just brush it and stuff like that that so i'm gonna be doing a little chit chat um on like some tips and tricks that i do to like make my hair healthy and um also to grow it number one thing is to always cut your ends i learned that this helps your hair like grow like, healthier i suggest you cut your ends i'm gonna get my cut tomorrow and then i spray i forgot to spray water and i add a little bit of water and i keep on just doing my thing i go ahead and scrunch my hair to the top so yeah definitely cutting your ends is definitely very important second thing is i found that using hair oils is really really healthy for your hair and your scalp so that's why i started using the my l hair oil Oil. and it has helped so much like my hair is like more shinier my scalp seems more healthier like it just feels like more healthier when it's like oiled i recently bought a body oil i never bought a body oil before but body just feels like so healthy so like moisturized all right now that this side is done i'm gonna show y'all my hair you know what i'm saying this is how my hair looks like and i'm gonna be doing the other side i forgot to see my hair Third is 
to obviously wash her hair regularly i don't really put a lot of water onto my hair because um it is like six o'clock and at this time like my hair would be like in the middle of drying so i feel like um when i put less water on my hair the faster it will dry up all right so now that my hair is detangled and it is leave-in conditioned I'm gonna be jumping straight into my curl. Y'all, this is like top tier like hair product for defining hair. And it is this Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. I had the um the gel of this and it smells absolutely amazing. It feels great on my hair. This is the amount I would put. And then I would just apply it and scrunch it. I don't do um individuals because I just have a ton of hair. And then I cannot forget the top. So this is how my hair looks like. It's still the same, but when it dries up, they're like gonna like come together. I'm gonna be doing the same thing to this side. You see this? It's already forming. So now that my hair is applied with this, I'm gonna be taking my final thing. And it is the Kiss Colors and Care Twist Curl Gel for the fine and style. It smells absolutely amazing and it helps my hair to just, you know, keep it together. And not harden, but like, just like keep it together. I do use all of my hair for this. I just go for it, honestly. I don't really think too much about it. I do it to both sides. So I flip my hair to this side and then I'm going to flip my hair to the other side. Another tip I would do is I feel like if you brush your hair, you have to literally do your whole aftercare again like use the products that you use i suggest to not really brush your hair like normal because i feel like you can lose hair be careful with the products that you use oh my god that's a big one please be careful with the products that you use for your hair because some of these products they be having chemicals that are not good for your hair cause breakage and all that stuff this is how my hair looks like um it is so soft and eventually they're gonna come together um, when it's like drying so I'm gonna be showing y'all the process of it drying like after it has been dried So that you guys can see the difference between this and this see y'all after my hair has been dried basically all for my curly hair routine i hope you guys enjoy the video i absolutely will forever love my curls sometimes i'll be picking on my curls to see like what the best one is but in reality none of my curls are really that perfect i try to you know make my curls as healthy as possible and you know just take care of my curls thank y'all so much for watching this video i hope y'all enjoyed it Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to all the good stuff. Make sure y'all follow my social medias down below. So make sure y'all turn on post notifications on so you never miss when a girl uploads. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.